Before we get started, it's been a while since we've done a contest and we're gonna do a contest. So stay tuned to the end of this video to see the contest rules. Many of you have only seen the garage side of the electric supercar channel. Today we're gonna to visit the Institution of Research. Here at the Electric Supercar Institution of Research, we have helpers that can help with a variety of different things. I'd like to introduce you to our head researcher, Miss Researcher. Hello. Miss Researcher, can you help me evaluate this electric car charger? Yes, that's what we're all about. All right, so where do we start? Unboxing, of course. So what do you think of the packaging? Well, it comes in a nice little case here. It looks like you can carry it around, it's got a nice handle. Yeah. Okay, let's look inside. Oh, it looks like it's got a, a wall mount, so even though it's portable, you can still mount this to the wall. It looks like it gives you two charging options, the 110 or 220. That looks nice. So what are some of the features of this EV charger? Well, it's got dynamic load balancing management. What the heck is that? Allows to be connected to the electricity meter through the ring current transformer. Smart A01 intelligent lead detects household power consumption, automatically adjusting EV charging power to optimize household power distribution and to ensure electrical safety. What this sounds like to me is this unit has a sensor that can connect to your house power, figure out how much power your house is drawing and control how much power is delivering to the car. Is that about right? That's right. So how do we know if this is any good? Well, we have to do the institution of research testing. Let's do it. All right, so now it's plugged in. Looks like it's got a gesture there to plug in the handpiece. So can we test it out? Absolutely, on the electric supercar testing vehicle. We are right about 11 amps, which is about the max that the electric supercar will charge at. That's restricted by its onboard charger. So what if I want to control this from my phone? You can get the app. Like device. Oh, look how easy that was. Something tells me if I push this button, it'll turn the charge off. Ah, I heard it. Boom! That's amazing. But you know what? I'm not done charging yet. We're gonna start. Save, confirm. Oh, there we go. So I'm gonna say start, but this time, rather than the scheduled time now, I'm gonna schedule it 20.35, done. And save, confirm. Three, two, one. I heard it. So the countdown, meaning you can schedule at any time and it'll just go on. Does this have any other features we should know about? We can lock the charger through the app. Oh, is that like a safety thing? It's an anti-theft system. When you say anti-theft, you mean like, so nobody can just randomly come up to your charger and take it and plug in their car? Exactly. All right, so we're gonna confirm. You've got it locked on the app. So we're gonna confirm that you plug it in and it will not charge. Right there, it says locked. So again, after you close out of the app, then it looks like it's locked. So what does this button do? Oh, this is flashing up there. Oh, it's a time delay. So there's two hours, three hours. Looks like you can delay it for a full day. Then this button. 8 amps, 12 amps, 16, 24, up to 40 amps. This also has a feature of identifying what plug it's plugged into. All right, we are going to try the 110 cord. In theory, this thing is smart enough to limit the amperage. 120 volts, it's automatically selected down to 12 amps. Can't go any higher, it goes to 8, 12, that's it. So it is smart enough to know that it can only go to 12 amps. So are there any certifications? 
Yes, it has a CSA and an Energy Star certification. All right, Miss Researcher, we're gonna see how long this cord is. All right, how long is it? Over 21 feet. All right, so what's the next thing we do? We run over it. Wait, run over it? You're using the electric supercar test vehicle? It's required at the Institution of Research. Oh my, what is this next test? The last and final test is to see if it's waterproof. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, one, one two, two, three. <laughs> For the Electric Supercar Channel, the Institution of Research, what do we think about this charger? First, let's talk about the app. What do you think about the app? I think the app is very practical. It allows you to do so many functions, which are just so much easier to do in the palm of your hand. Yeah, and I've reviewed a, a few of these chargers, and this was actually one of the easier ones to set up. Uh, what do you think about the overall design, like the style? I, I really like it. I think it's very sleek. This. Lighting in the middle helps determine when it's charging and when it's not. And the screen is also a good thing. It's got uh, enough information that communicates everything. And it's light. Again, this is kind of, I think, meant to be, I'll say, a travel version. And it's light, so that's nice. It's got a nice case. The grip, the charging handle, that all works very well. Um, it's robust. It held up to our water and runover tests. If I had to think of some things to improve on, um, it's always challenging. So. Um, you always want the most power. Um, I don't think I've seen any that are like portable 50 amps, but that would be awesome. Um, the other thing is the length of the cable. Again, if you could have like 100 foot long cable or something, that'd be nice. Now I realize this one's meant to be portable, so you want it to be lightweight, thus a little bit shorter cable. Um, other than that, I, like I said, I think the app's good. I think um, the display, it's got all the information you need. It's, it's lightweight, it's slick, so uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. All right, before we sign off, let's talk about the contest rules. And we are actually gonna give away an EV charger to one of the viewers. So the way to enter is very simple. All you have to do is visit the Folsom Facebook page, leave a like, and then comment in this video what your favorite product feature is about their EV charger. That's all you have to do to enter. In the very next video, we will announce the winner of the EV charger and it will be shipped to you free of charge. So we hope you enjoyed this product review video. We'll leave a link to this product if you're interested in getting EV charger. You can find all that information in the video description below. Mrs. Research, doing her research. I need help, that's what it is, I need help. Charger. I didn't realize I'm gonna put this in the outro. Hey everyone. Well, it's got dynamic load bearing, what is it? Oh, balancing.